What time is it? No, I mean like what, what's happening? Oh, it's time for me to go home. Mission. I'll be in the vlogs again soon. Uh, oh, I want to say goodbye. I don't want to go. Good morning, you beautiful people. Yes, you guys saw it right. Aiden has left me. I am now alone in this beautiful Airbnb apartment. But yeah, um, this morning at around 6 a.m., I said goodbye to my best friend Aiden, who is going back to Scotland to be with his girlfriend on her birthday. And I'm now in Paris all alone, but not for long. Today, I am headed off to a couple Fashion Week events. I'm going to, I think, two presentations. Then I'm headed back to this apartment. I'm gonna pack everything up and head across town to my friend Adrienne's family's apartment. And I'm gonna be staying with them for another 10 days. So naturally, what you do when you miss someone is you go from having three hours of sleep, we went to bed at like 3 a.m., woke up at six, and now I'm making breakfast. A little like hash stir fry deal going on here, and some beautiful, wonderful coffee, and other vegetables being cut up. We did a lot of grocery shopping for this apartment, and since I am taking the metro across town with all of my stuff, I kind of want to eat as much of the food as possible. So I'm just kind of like cooking all the vegetables that we have together and like hoping that they taste good. So that's my day, starting off with a beautiful start. Yes, not very good with Aiden, but it's also good to have some time to center myself and like get my life together because I've been feeling a little bit like scatterbrained lately. So it's kind of good to just have a morning by myself to get everything together. So this is the final product. Look how good this looks. Yum. Anyways, I'm gonna bring this over here and sit down on this cute little couch and watch some YouTube stuff to inspire me for my day and also drink tons of coffee because I am going to need it. So I've just gotten all ready and now I'm headed off to my Fashion Week events of the day. So far I actually just have one like showroom visit and then there's one being confirmed and then one that's like really far away from town so I'm just kind of like not going to that one because I have a lot of packing and like crazy stuff to do today so I just kind of need to keep myself sane. Anyways, I'm just running into town quickly. I'm gonna go to the Alex showroom which is gonna be interesting. They seem like a really cool brand so I'm excited to go visit and check it out. Yeah, let's go. apartment oh my goodness the Alix show was amazing I really enjoyed it I got to meet the designer it was kind of awkward though because I didn't realize that he was the designer and I was just talking to him and then I was like oh so what do you do here he's like I'm the founder and designer I'm like oh cool anyways it was a fun time now I am back at the apartment and I need to get all my shit packed up but first, I am starving and exhausted and need to eat something. So I just heated up some more of the stuff I made this morning. And then I cut up some mozzarella and tomato. I'm gonna eat that and then watch some YouTube. And then we're gonna get to work and get all my shit packed up so that I can go and switch apartments. And sadly leave this one, but I'm still in Paris. So it's not that heartbreaking yet. Although at this point in the day, I'm like really missing Aiden a lot. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's hard when you're so tired in the morning. I mean, it's like, it doesn't really register that the person is leaving, you know? You're like, what? Like, it just, you can't, it, you, I don't know. It doesn't feel real. And then, now he's gone. It's so sad. But, I have coffee, so that's like second best. <laughs> so, it is about an hour and a half later now. I'm all packed up. It doesn't quite look like it, but I'm about to zip this up 
and then I also have this stuff to put into that bag, and then we'll be done. I cleaned the whole apartment, and we're just gonna say goodbye. I don't wanna go. So I brought half my stuff downstairs, and I just ordered the Uber, and I'm so sad. This apartment was literally an apartment of dreams. I'm gonna leave a link to the Airbnb down in the description, so if you guys ever go to Paris and wanna stay in the most amazing apartment, um, hosted by the most amazing guy, Charles, shout out to you. You are so cool. We didn't actually talk that much, but like, I could just tell. You're really cool. And um, yeah, I, my Uber's coming in like five minutes and I'm just like super sad. Yeah, anyways, off to new adventures. So I'm now here in this beautiful Paris loft where there are lots of designers, including this beautiful one. Hi. Tell us about yourself. I'm Gladys Tamez, millinery. I'm hat maker yeah and I'm here showing in Paris in my fall winter 17 and tell us about some of the hats you've made or some of the people who have worn them because you're kind of a big deal I, thank, <laughs> you, thank you I do for a Lady Gaga I do the album cover of Joanne mm -hmm. the one million dollars for Victoria's Secret look over there ha 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 and Gaga lately has been wearing all my hats and um, for Johnny Depp for Sia Martin so many Martin people Hayek, um, Beyonce. Oh my god, all of the above. Yeah. Look at you. Anyways, we're gonna try on some hats. I'm gonna get my head measured. I'm super excited. Okay. Let's go. Now Gladys is gonna measure my head. And you're not a big head. You're like between a small and medium. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess I'm not as smart as I thought. Okay. Perfect. And then I can put it on and I have it. Yay. This is a fashion icon for Fall Winter 17. <gasps> And it's all based in my my uh, my icons from the 1970s, but like for example, Anita Pallenberg, mm -hmm. Faye Dunaway, Edith Sedgwick. It's amazing, so gorgeous. Rise, the Bardot for Brigitte Bardot. Bianca for Bianca Yaga. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing, so gorgeous. Thank you. So I'm here with Natalie, Hi. and she is also a jewelry designer. Yes, bonjour. Yes, yes. where are you based? Um, I'm actually, I was born and raised in Paris. Oh, awesome. Yes, but I've been living in Los Angeles for 22 years now. Wow. My husband has a jewelry factory mm -hmm. in California, in Los Angeles downtown, so we decided to just start our own line. And this is all precious. So every piece, every diamond comes with a GIS certificate. And I think the best thing to do is just, just a great <laughs> It's just look at it all. Look at just all this. Like, look at all. Wow. Yeah. I'm here with Mitchell, who is um, yet again a jewelry designer. <laughs> There's a lot of us in this space. Yes. Um, so my line is a little different because it's um, exotic leather jewelry. It's lizard, it's alligator, it's snakeskin, it's all handcrafted, um, and it's all made in LA where I live. We did, you know, like a ring choker, but we did it in black rhodium with Swarovski handset crystals. Oh my gosh. So it gives it like a little bit of like a femininity, you know? Yeah, a little, yeah. A girlier approach, if you will. You know, it's like kind of combining those two worlds. I guess. Oh, it's so amazing! Thank you. I Thank love you. It. And thanks for <laughs> thanks for talking. Of course, anytime. <laughs> and now, because I lost tons of footage, here is an epic montage of the rest of my time in Paris. Let's go.